Okay, so I'm getting ready to go down to the garden. Um, I was down there Monday trying to make a video and my phone didn't cooperate. So, um, I know there's stuff down there that I need to harvest. Uh, we had a storm, so as you can tell, this thing has kind of blown crazy-like. But, I don't know how to tell when that thing is ready, but Miss Pig has this thing growing. I guess it's a kind of pumpkin, a gourd. There's been some debate online. See that one rotted off. There is another one right down there. And there's one more that's pretty big in size. I don't know if you can see it. It's way back there. Um, got another one started here. Uh, this plant is huge. As you can tell, those <laughs> th this whole thing is just like huge. She's done a really good job. She did keep the weeds down around it, and not so much now that it's big. Here's that other one. So, yeah, um, this is, these leaves are like bigger than my hand. These leaves are bigger than my head. But anyway, <laughs> um, I've been looking. I don't think there's any more through here. You can see the holes where she rooted around it, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to tell when those are ripe because I don't know if they're a squash or a gourd. Um, one person online said squash, one said gourd, which that didn't really help me any because now I'm 50-50 still. So anyway, all right, so I'm going to take this down here. We're going to, hey little gray, what are you doing? Yep, we're going to go down and see if we can't harvest some of our melons. Um, there's a melon down there. I think there's actually like two or three melons and some cucumbers. The cucumbers are overripe and I'll be making facial masks for them out of them. So um, yeah, we'll just go down there and see what all I can come up with. And I'll give you a quick update on the way. Okay, so we're at the garden. I put my crate down. I decided I'm going to show you before I go to taking things off. Here's the onions. I will be taking some of the onion top sets to the garden, to um, the garden market, I guess I should say. All of these will create new onions. Um, I also will be throwing some back in there because I don't want to harvest all of my onions. So I will take care of this today. Um, we've got the yellow cucumbers. Some of those, they're not yellow, they're now orange. So they're a little overripe, if that makes sense. So we won't be taking those to the farmer's market. We'll be making face masks out of those. Our little cantaloupe here, it's just growing like a bad weed. That's good, I love cantaloupe. And look at our tomatoes. We have one little green one right there. They said if those black tomatoes grow that they're a little small like that. So who knows, maybe that will. Look at our basil. Oh, I walked into a spider web. Um, look at our basil. I will be dehydrating that probably just for me. Um, the Oh, and it smells amazing. Oh. The tomatoes and the basil together. Oh, I'm just thinking tomato sauce. Anyway, um, the strawberries, they're still there. If you remember before I left when RJ had his wreck, they kind of withered away. So they're looking bad, but they're on the rebound. Um, our spearmint has gone to seed. This is all the little seeds. They flower out and all that. So, um, And I do this because, look at our little pollinators that are on there. Um, the butterflies love this stuff. They are everywhere on here. And the green mint is down there. So um, I will be cutting back this tall Johnson grass and getting um, some more of these harvested for tea and leaves, but I'm not going to take any that are flowering. So um, the peach tree, I lost all the peaches before. We're going to have to come up with a way to spray them and keep the bugs out. Um, we got a couple, but nothing major. Uh, the sage is doing great. I, I had said I wasn't going to harvest it. This is a weed coming through the fence, but um, I said I hadn't, wasn't going to harvest it because I wanted it to get well established, and I think it has. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? The apples are ready. I've got to pick them and start making my apple pie filling, which is what I make out of them. I just haven't gotten it done. So I will send RJ down here to harvest every apple he can and get them up to the house. That'll happen later today, I hope. Then the Vine City has gone crazy. All right. 
it's crazy crazy um yeah while I was investigating in here I came down because while I was away oh that is probably okay let's try that again while I was away I learned that loofah gourd oh there goes a locust scared him loofah gourds are edible so I came down here to explore and see if I had any loofah gourds you have to harvest them when they're young and then you eat them like zucchini oh and we all know how I love zucchini but while I was down here oh, get off of there look at what I found there's just a watermelon and there's a green melon I don't know what it is um look over in there there's some more look at that so I will be cutting off some of these and taking them with me to the farmers market um, probably not the green ones but probably the the big white ones and letting them uh, oops, sorry had an itch and and seeing what the kids at the farmers market say there's another one right under there holy cow it's still green though um so these are I want to say mush melons not real familiar with them but they were a gift and so we planted them and yeah I will be going through here and just kind of trying to get this under control <laughs> it's everywhere um this is watermelon I'm not sure I think this is loofah these are cucumbers and there's some some quite large cucumbers in here but I have a feeling they're probably too large and they're probably going to go to um, soaps which is fine I do soaps and that stuff out of them when they get too big the the vitamins in that don't change see right down there I've got some more and um, because I use the skin the seeds and everything and puree it, it makes an awesome awesome um, soap packed with vitamins and minerals down in here I've got a zucchini that's like way overgrown we're gonna look into making some zucchini soap out of that it's way too big unless somebody else knows of anything um, let's just say I have jelly at the wazoo so um, yeah I know the big ones can go to jelly but oh my gosh and when I got back from vacation I noticed that my vines started to grow up the trees and I'm trying to keep them from attracting the trees um, this is not a small area and these vines go from tree to tree and on past so yeah we have I need to get them clipped back but I don't know what I'm doing and I'm scared of um, losing fruits and vegetables and all that good stuff so um, yeah we'll see because <laughs> here I have more um, now we do have a couple of tomatoes I'm watching and they're not really ripening up they're kind of like orange and orange and light orange so yeah um, I don't know what happened with this but this is starting to rot this little guy right here um, but there is let's pull him off see I don't know I wasn't home so but I do have some more squashes down there over there I guess there's zucchini on that plant um, those are zucchini I'm pretty sure and these are my acorn squash look at that look at those down there so I'm gonna go through and harvest all of these those that are too big will go to soaps and stuff the strawberries as you can tell the guys did not mow while I was gone so this is almost two weeks worth of not mowing and it's pretty bad so we're gonna get out here this evening when I get home from the farmers market and we're going to reclaim this area um yeah this is the strawberry bed that I'm sneaking up on um, most of it is outside the strawberries but some of it is not so we will be weeding this and getting them back under control it's amazing what a week to 10 days does um, to throw you off in the garden just saying it, it gets crazy so um, yeah we will definitely be getting and I don't even know where the blackberries and the elderberry bushes down here so we'll have to look I have more vines going up the trees they're just everywhere so yeah I guess I'm gonna have to oh my gosh look at this look at this their little grabby things are grabbing on to my trees 
Oh my goodness, I don't even know where it came from. There we go. Ah, I guess it goes underneath the tree. There we go. But anyway, we will reclaim some of this and I probably am going to start taking off some of this vine that goes out here just because I can't handle it very well. Um, I've got to keep it out of the trees. I don't see a lot of fruit or flowers on it. So pretty much I'm going to slowly just kind of pick up and trim, pick up and trim. Um, and hopefully not cost myself too much, you know, because like this right here isn't producing anything but more vine. And so I'm pretty sure if I clip that off, I'm not going to hurt the vine. So um, that's what's going to happen. We're not going to clip anything that's got flowers, that kind of stuff. So we'll see. So far I haven't gotten any leaf of gourds. And if you remember, I really wasn't worried because I thought that in the fall um, they would freeze off. And then the lady told me, oh, you can eat them when they're young, just like zucchini. So, yeah, we will be testing that theory if I can find any. So, um, I'm going to try and get some of this under control. See what I've got to harvest. And I'm going to get my garden back under control. I'm ready for the farmer's market today. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to show you guys the climbing spinach. This stuff has gone everywhere and it's actually looped back up on itself. So I'm just going to loop it right over there and look at this beautiful spinach. It is self-sowing so I'm not, I'm not going to harvest it um, just because I want it to go to seed and cover this whole thing. But I am going to get out here and weed this. Because believe it or not, there's still little bitty ones that haven't taken off. Um, and see, this one right here, and it's already producing the little flowers. The flowers produce the seeds, I'm sure. So, I'm going to keep nourishing, nursing it along. My hair is in my mouth, sorry about that. I'm going to keep nursing it along, and hopefully we'll have this whole thing covered with spinach next year. And it will be amazing. Look at all that color and bloom and oh my gosh it, it just really this side really took off so i'm hoping the other side will really take off and then we'll have cute pictures for the kids but anyway there's the teepee the spinach teepee